Hi, this is Todd McVicker with Redeeming Dogs, and I've got Wyatt here. Wyatt is, uh, boy, he's a mystery cross. He might have some Boxer, he might have some Catahoula. We're not really sure. We just know he's a good little dog. He's in for board and train. He uh, exhibits some leash aggression. So in other words, he's the guy that in a pack of dogs, he's fine. Loose, he's fine. Uh, when he's walking, he if he sees dogs, sometimes he'll act aggressively. He um, he lives in an urban setting, so he's going to be coming across dogs and people and stuff pretty frequently. Uh, it's very obvious with this dog, it's it's a fear reaction. So in other words, he's when he's with a bunch of dogs, he's kind of shy and he's laid back. If he's loose, he's not. He doesn't want to hurt him. He just wants him to go away so he can feel safe. So uh, a little softer dog here. So uh, I've had him, I picked him up Monday, just kind of wanted to show a session, show how he's doing. Come on. This is a guy that's used to being walked on a leash. He gets walked on a leash every day. So um, it's, it's, that's, not, that's not a new part for him. Part of stress levels, when a dog's stress level, I want to see if the dog will take food from me. Is the dog so stressed that he won't take food? So he looks, his demeanor is nervous, he looks a little nervous, but he's also uh, happy to take food from me. Come on. I'd like him to be taking it a little more assertively, pushing into me. Uh, but that that will come usually as I work him on the session. He will he'll start to push in better. Good boy. Teach him an inside turn where I turn around. He turns in the middle. Oh, we'll use the place board. That seems to work pretty good. We're still at the point of the relationship where he doesn't really trust me completely. So in other words, if I do something weird, he's like, "What are, what are you doing? Are you gonna?" Uh, he, he doesn't really realize that everything I do, he's not gonna really have a negative consequence. Good boy. A lot of. You'll see he's doing a lot of licking of his face. He's kind of a nervous little guy. His mouth is clamped shut. He's not relaxed enough to open his mouth. Good boy. That's licking. Yep, you're licking. So he's a pretty concerned little dude. We're going to have to do some work on loosening him up. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Place. Can you come up here? Good boy. Good dog. Nice. This is place. This is a place for it. Good boy. Come on. Nice. Good outside turn. In terms of what he's doing with the other dogs in the yard, he's he had about 24 hours where he was pretty concerned about them, and we went out, he would stand by the door, kind of wanting to go back in the house. Uh, he's gotten to the point now where he's running with the other dogs. He's chasing them and letting them chase him. And that's a real healthy game I like to see in a large area. Uh, I like that better than seeing the dogs wrestle and tussle. That can escalate. Chase games seem to drain down energy. Sometimes wrestling games can bring it up. Uh, just kind of as a side note. Come here. Sit. Good boy. Nice. Yes. See if I can get him to jump up into the wagon here. Up. Yes, good. This guy's really fast. He can run like the wind. He's got long legs. Good boy, yes. Uh, when I start training a dog to get on something, I, I show him by example, so I get up there too. 
Later on, I can ask him to do it without me there. So now I can probably get him to do it without me getting in the wagon. where we're at with Mr. Wyatt. Uh, a lot of his work will just be getting him loosened up uh, to where he can concentrate on doing the obedience and not worry about what's going to happen, who is that over there. Uh, so just getting this guy loosened up. But uh, thanks for checking in.